My name is Raj Jetnani with Google Cloud, and in this video, we're going to go through a walkthrough of the VMware Engine Portal. Here, as you can see, we've got our resource summary, capacity summary, and common tasks to launch and perform within the environment. Let's take a closer look at our resources and private clouds already deployed. Here we have our current private cloud with a summary information on the current name of the private cloud, the operational status, as well as things like the location where it's deployed, our management side or range, and our vCenter and NSXT login information. In the next section, we have our capacity in terms of a number of nodes deployed, how much CPU, memory, and storage are currently available, and below that are our versions for the VMware components. Finally, at the bottom here, we have the ability to delete a private cloud. We have the ability to remove nodes as needed and the ability to elevate permissions of a local user account or a AD tied user account. This is useful for certain administrative tasks that require additional permissions on your management components, such as vCenter. Next, let's take a look at the clusters view, which will list out all the clusters we have available and also allow us to apply auto scale policies for the environment. So if we wanted to be able to auto scale up or down, depending on resource usage, we can do so in the screen. And there are different policies available depending on the situation that you may encounter or your application requirements. One thing to note, you can also add nodes manually by clicking the add node button here and adding a node to your existing cluster or creating a brand new cluster within your private cloud. Next, let's take a look at the vSphere Management Network view, where we can see the URLs for all our management components, IP addresses, as well as versions associated with them. Keep in mind that one of the benefits of running a VMware service, such as Google Cloud VMware Engine, is these components are managed by Google Cloud. So any updates, patches, security releases are configured and released by Google Cloud directly. Under the Advanced vCenter section, we can add a remote syslog server so you can forward your vCenter logs to a syslog server of your choice. And under the DNS configuration, we have the ability to add DNS profiles so that the management components can find your on-prem environment, as an example. So if you have an on-prem domain that you would like to resolve, you can go ahead and enter that domain information here, and we'll be able to resolve that from the vCenter object and other management components. Next, let's take a look at the network section where you can perform network tasks such as enabling firewall rules, viewing the subnets, assigning public IPs to your workloads such as any web servers that you might have, enabling a VPN gateway so you can VPN into this environment, and the private connection view. This is a, an important view where you can actually peer your GCVE environment to an existing Google Cloud project. So if you need any Google Cloud components to reach Google Cloud VMware Engine, we can plug in the information here and be able to communicate directly. More details on this step in another video. Next, let's take a look at the regional settings view. And this is where we're able to add the ability for your workloads to egress into the internet and also assign public IP addresses to them. Next, let's take a look at the activity view where we can see any alerts associated with the environment, events, tasks that have occurred in the environment, as well as an audit trail of all activity within the Google Cloud VMware Engine portal. Under account, we have the ability here to see the summary of the environment, as well as add additional emails and users so that they can be alerted when things like a new private cloud is created, a node is being replaced, or if you want our Google Cloud VMware Engine support team to be able to access this portal for troubleshooting purposes. That's a quick walkthrough of the portal. Thanks for watching. For more information about Google Cloud VMware Engine, check out VMware Cloud Tech Zone.